welcome to my channel sorry for the peppermint in my mouth but it was raining today i went outside to enjoy the rain and let's just say <clears throat> what's the idea i'm starting to get my throat scratchy i also think they released a new strain of the covid not going to be as severe as it was when they first released it the first time, but pretty sure they released another one. So, because I kept getting um, virus infection, I kept getting a virus infection. Um, if you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, baby. Thank you for following and being a loyal subscriber thank you very much I'm sorry I'm gonna have to pause this to take this out of my mouth because I'm so uncomfortable talking with it in my mouth <clears throat> give me a second to decide what I'm gonna do y'all well. all right <clears throat> I just kind of ate it down I was trying to prep before I got on there I ate one before but it started to hurt again it started to feel like really where I couldn't talk, so I'm like, no, I gotta get this message out. Y'all, it is what? Let me see what time it is. Where is my computer? What's wrong with that? Oh. It is 2.40 in the ding on morning, and I am. I am up. I ain't complaining, though. Trust me, I ain't complaining. It's worse shit could be happening. Feel me? Y'all feel me? <laughs> Anywho, I think they released a new strand of COVID. And what I've learned is that they they learn about, well, they already know certain stuff about certain blood types, but they are doing research on how to extinguish certain people, certain, you know, um, by their DNA. Um, we're getting into another one because I, 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 I high key want to, tell y'all about A plus, B plus, O plus, all, all those different, but I'm not an expert, but I, what I've been picking up in the spirit is that they really are studying people's blood type to see um, what affects them, what doesn't affect them, and that's what I've been picking up a lot on in the spirit, so anyways, uh, it's a lot of stuff that has been released, when I say released, uh, cycles that have been o uh, over with, that's, that's been dealt with, and some other people are being dealt with. Um, Somebody ex could have HIV. That is their judgment because they could have went to a karmic. They could have caught thought the karmic was better than you, which you are divine, and they bet they bet so they gotta lay in it, and they want you back. But I don't think that's gonna happen because, but. <laughs> that's just crazy. Um. We do have drug poisoning, that cycle. They, I don't want to say that cycle is over, but it's coming to a close where they're trying to drug poison you or food poison you. That is out on the table still. Uh, this is the same cycle. And I think it's, just, it's the same person that keeps doing the same thing. That's why I keep coming out, like keep doing the same spells. Um, but I, I hear it, it's, a lot of those cycles are ending. A lot of that magic is ending. So just be aware of that. And the reason why I'm not looking at you guys because Y'all, I'm trying to do my nails. I'm trying to multitask. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to my nail, baby. But this ain't it. Anyways, we have um, <clears throat> somebody's twin flame, divine counterparts, spiritual soulmate, whatever you want to call this connection that you have. They're going through the dark night of the soul. Not all dark nights of the souls are, are, you know, it's basically a spiritual awakening, but they have to be shown themselves and how they did what they did and how the cause and effect and, you know, you know, they'll feel sentiments and go, it's basically a healing process, the dark night of the soul, and then you get a fresh awakening, a new look on life, and your, your twin, your divine counterpart, soulmate, whatever you want to call this connection with the person that you have, but it is very divine, it is um coming, this person is coming out of this dark night of the soul they had to go through the spiritual awakening so they can awaken to their higher purpose i'm sorry you guys got an email uh, yeah message anyways um they are going through or they did they, they're 
just recently or going through a dark, dark night of the soul um somebody is still watching you through this uh crystal ball there's somebody watching you through a crystal ball someone is going to have a happy surprise too so be aware of that be expecting happy news i don't know if you uh, are aware of that I don't know who that who that message is for, but I got another message that somebody is seeing that sending demons towards you to make you powerless. Uh, it's a woman. It's a woman or a girl. They're sending demons to work towards you to make you powerless. Um, I'm trying to think what else spirit had me because I, I had already had the cards out on the table and prayed. I just wanted to sit with the energy so I could get clear and concise messages. Oh yeah, they are the the um, the demons that they're sending towards you is to target your solar plexus energy your, your solar plexus chakra if you see in 1238 and 1239 that is a that could be a, a, a indicator that um this demons they're using these demons to attack your chakra to make you powerless they don't want you to feel like you're good enough um <clears throat> this could be um this reptilian star c e m he is a, a billionaire he is from uh, south africa he is a white man so just be a white, a white male. He was born a white male, so just be aware of that. Um, they want to cause you some kind of trauma to deserve your peace. I don't want to look further into that. I didn't get to look into that yet, but they do want to cause someone some trauma. Let's see. What's the sun zodiac sign of the person or people? What's the sun zodiac sign of the person or people they want to cause trauma? It's an earth sign. Taurus work on Capricorn. They want you to cause. They want to cause you some type of trauma, to to disturb your peace. Yeah, I was picking that up on uh, tonight too. They was trying to send pain my way to basically. It was about my my divine my divine counterpart. To they wanted me to believe some kind of illusion, and for a minute I I, I was like checking the energy. I'm like, okay. Is, like, why is this okay? So did he do this or did he not? And I was just, and God said, why does it matter? It doesn't matter. I was like, you're right. So I just left it alone. And God um, told me that they were just trying to cause me pain. So don't even pay attention. Even if it's true or not, don't even pay attention to it. So I didn't. I left it alone. And I just like, God, direct me to where you want me to be. And honey, it's time for these children to go back to school. <laughs> And all my money be gone. They need everything. <laughs> they need everything, Lord <laughs> Jesus. They need everything. <laughs> and they grow so fast. And I got so many. So, you know, I had to. He focused my attention on that to, to take care of that with the kids. You know, to, you know, do the, you know, pay the bills, do the grocery shopping, all that. So I got, I, I left that alone. Um, what they was trying to send pain my way to cause me to kind of hurt about my twin. So I left that alone, went over here, went shopping, you know, kids, they like the most expensive stuff except for my son. He like what I like. And my other daughter, she like what I like too. We got kind of the same taste, but my other daughter, that older one, that 13 year old, she got some sponsor taste. Like everything gotta be expensive with her. And it, it's not that it's just as expensive. She like high quality stuff, and she know. And most of my kids have patience, so just so y'all don't know, they have patience. <laughs> and so they like, like she know like high quality stuff, and she got good taste. She just, she, I told her she gonna need a job ASAP because she girl, your taste is expensive as hell. She like high quality stuff, and most of the high quality stuff is expensive, so that's what she like. And it, and it, it got to be in a certain color. Child, yeah. And so that's what I was going through. Maybe, yo, you guys, Spirit want me to share that with you guys. Because I know a lot of people on my channel is around the same age as my target target audience. Is around 36 to 40 year olds. So a lot of you probably have kids just like I do. And, and the, you know, from like probably babies to zero to, 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 to 20 like I do. You know, <clears throat> And so, you know, you got we all could be in that process of getting our kids going ready back to go to back to school because some kids going back early. And plus, I live in on mountain time, so everybody else's time could be a little bit different. So you guys could be already, you know, about to start school in the next two weeks. Mine don't start for another four weeks, so I'm good. Um, no, not another four weeks. Actually, three weeks. Another three weeks. Yes. Um, but yeah, and so, oof. 
Yeah, somebody gonna have some kind of good news coming in. I, I got 10 hundred on the clock, and that's usually my good news number. So yeah, that somebody definitely have. Um, somebody is unstable while they're going through the dark night of the soul, though. When I went through the dark night of the soul, it seemed like I was unstable, but you're supposed to be kind of unstable. But I, I hope this doesn't mean mental illness, you know, because I was unstable because it's a process of where you're going to heal. You go through all this like, oh, this happened to me. And then you're like, oh, but I survived it. You have to process all that stuff and then find a higher uh, way of viewing that thing, that, that thing that you went through. So that's probably why this person is unstable. Um, it's, I, I hear that this person that's watching you through a crystal ball is unstable. Someone that has been stealing your energy is very unstable person. Your energy is what keeps these people stable. That's why they continue to steal from you because it's what keeps them stable. If they don't have your energy, I think these people be in a nut house. Okay, so that's just what it is. These people are crazy. Um, these demons are jumping on people to people. It's, a, it's, it's some demons that's been sent out. Through the the, the 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 wind, some luau demons being sitting there hopping from person to person. So if you hear people voices changing and all that, I picked it up like a month ago. I never spoke on it because I didn't understand it. Now I understand it. Uh, so if you hear people vo voices changing and all that stuff, it's because it's a wind demon that's being activated through them. I don't even know how to put it. Like that's making them, you know, act out and do things like that. And so you need to be very aware of these type of people. These type of people are um either you know because some people have magic and their magic hit certain groups of people don't hit everybody so these people have to come up through some kind of spiritual awakening dark night of the soul some kind of awakening where they can awaken to more of their higher power their higher self and stop vibrating so low where other people magic can control you and i know that's hard that's harder said than done trust me i go through it all the time i know that's harder said than done Trust me, I know. But uh, these type of people need to be delivered. And they need to... Every, I, I just read... So everybody needs to make a regiment of them delivering themselves from any kind of veils being put over them, over their eyes, over their eyesight, over anything that God has for them. Any type of, you know, demons need to be... Re you don't have to know this particular type of demon, but that should be a constant prayer that's why god said we should be constantly in prayer because these witches and warlocks low vibrational people don't stop being low vibrational just because you're high vibrational that don't mean shit that means you got to do even more <laughs> okay i know it sounds like a lot but baby i'd rather do a lot than a little bit so i can have a lot you feel me because if you only do a little bit you won't have a little bit and people can control that and i don't like that type of if you're gonna have some kind of control over me let it be the most high God. I don't, you know, these humans, their uh, judgment is way different from the most high God. And a lot of them don't have no love in them. And if they do, it's, it's a smidgen. And it's not enough. They need to expand it. You feel me? So just like the most high God, that's what I do with my angels and my ancestors, my higher ups, say to do because the rest of y'all, <laughs> the rest of us, we sometimes, and it's because we're in these 3D bodies too. We don't know if we're going to come in. So <laughs> I'm just like, Lord Jesus, this warfare is heavy. Please just come out and, and, and lift your hand on me. Lord, just touch me. I'm like the woman with the, with the issue of blood. If I could just touch the hem of your coming. <laughs> Baby, it be, it be deep in this warfare sometimes. I be deep. And I'm like, Lord, if I could just touch. Can you just send your angel just to touch me just a little bit? And I know I'll be all right. And I do. And when I have that kind of prayer, all it's taking is a little bit of mustard seed. Just a mustard seed, Lord. You said a mustard seed. And I'm asking you to give me just a touch, just a little bit, you know, like a little crackhead. <laughs> just give me a touch because this wife is kicking my ass. <laughs> and so I just be, be real talking to the angels and God. And they... They be laughing at me sometimes, cause and people think I don't talk to angels for real. I used to. It's a time where I used to talk to angels like twenty four seven. They was always surrounding me, and that was when the veil was th thinning, and I could, I could see the spaceships coming in. I see them coming in and leaving, and that was during a hurricane. So a lot of times, let me shut up. I'm telling too much. Okay, but the police is out here. Holy Spirit, why the police is out here? Holy Spirit, why is the police out here? Why is this police crying out here? Are they trying to police the inference? They won't. It's like if you go on a date night with someone, 
they want to control it or send the police at your house or something. Uh, some some weird ass shit. That's some weird ass shit that I'm picking up and it's just crazy. I'm sorry I'm from Clemson, baby. <laughs> God ain't through with me yet. <laughs> Holy Spirit, please give me um, some more clarification on this Holy Spirit. Why is this here, Holy Spirit? Please give me the sight, lift the veils, lift all, get all this nasty energy off me and let me see. You bring these gifts, these good gifts. It's some kind of celebration that's going on. Cups, okay. Returning to Okay, why are you telling me about this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Okay, it's some kind of queen. Okay. I feel like justice was served to somebody. They were sending some weird ass energy to you and it got sent back. And it went a weird ass energy. This Queen of Cups is so worried about this Queen of Swords. I don't know. It's like she's stuck in her head about this Queen of Swords energy. She's so worried. But she's celebrating a new solid patch. It's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of uh, Pentacles here. So she has they they have some kind of victory on their side, but the state she also is carrying a secret about being sad and in pain and sucking her head about a queen of swords energy so that lets me know it's a feminine and this queen of swords doesn't even know she's her back is turned let me show y'all her back is turned towards this queen of cups her back is turned you see that she's not even that queen of swords is not even looking at her it's crazy they're not even looking at each other i guess she turned her back Oh yeah, she's sending some kind of water spirit to this queen of swords. It's a queen of cups. Let me let me let me dig a little bit deeper. <laughs> oh, what's the what's the signs of the sign of the person that's putting this queen of cups energy? What's the signs of the sign of the person? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's a water sign. Why is this Queen of Swords balance this Queen of um, Cups balancing this Queen of Swords? Why is this Queen of Cups balancing this Queen of Swords? It's some kind of stagnant energy she was sending towards. A queen, a queen of cups is sending towards a Queen of Swords. Um, difficult decision, weighing options, just like stagnant choices. I feel like this is this person that was trying to, like I told you, they was trying to cause me pain earlier. And I, I guess they feel like that that it worked. Like, oh my God, it worked. And it, <laughs> I picked up the energy, but I did not dwell in it. So it's a queen of cups, police, and a queen of swords. And she's trying to, she's trying to give her pain, make this queen of swords be stuck in her head. But it's really this Queen of Cups who's in pain and stuck in her head. And then this Five of Cups energy. This this person is very sad. And this person is keeping it a secret. They're they're showing face like, oh my god, like I got it together. Like like they have a victory, but they it's it's a it's a lie. <laughs> it's just a facade. <laughs> it's a mask. And it's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, like ooh. Child, let's not get too messy now. <laughs> Somebody still need to eat more leafy greens and vegetables. <clears throat> when I get that, that's when it, somebody's attacking somebody's uh, lymphatic system, um, limpid system. Because when you get clogged up like that, um, and there's not enough um, veggies going on in your body, um. The limbic system starts to act up and the lymphatic system starts to act up. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Ever since I went outside today, my throat has been scratching. <coughs> Somebody could be trying to mess with your independence as well. 
they see that you're independent and they don't like it, they try to stop it. That could be just Queen of Cups. There's an organization that's out here. Spirit, why this organization is out here? Oh, Spirit, why is this organization out here? It's the Queen of Wands that's sitting, that's having a struggle with, with trying to balance out some negative energy that's sending you. <clears throat> yeah, and so instead of um, stopping, they're doing, they're elevating their, their, their work, they're elevating, how can I say it? They're elevating their spell work to more spell work, more magic. They're elevating it. Okay. Yeah. They're trying to um, make somebody make a decision or master, make somebody master making a decision. What they're trying to do is override somebody's free will in the, in the um, organization. They're trying to override somebody's free will. Somebody's thinking. Um, they're you know their decision making. They're, what I'm getting, they're trying to to force their will upon the organization. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, but this causing this person to step. This person still is getting like hit and break. <clears throat> The more they do this, the more they stress. <clears throat> the more they, they try to send all this, this spell work towards, <clears throat> excuse me, this organization, the more they stress. The more they get stressed. They're trying to cause a... This person is so weird. Whoever is doing this, they're going to end up dead because you're going against people free will and that's crazy seriously they're so used to doing it and getting away with it that's why why is she out here why is this um it's a smith person out here why is she out here the daughter Okay, so this particular daughter, the Smith daughter, could be doing <clears throat> negative energy at the work to end somebody's wishes. That's exactly what she's doing. She's doing negative energy at the work. The Smith daughter, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. They got a son and the daughter. The daughter is doing negative energy at the work to end someone's wishes. Witches. I say witches. They may be witches wishes <laughs> they're trying to end somebody's wishes <clears throat> so what's the son of zodiac sign of the person wishes they're trying to end who wishes that they're trying to come against holy spirit somebody manifested a, a musician what's the son of zodiac sign of this musician person what's the son of zodiac sign what's the son of zodiac sign of this musician person holy spirit Taurus Virgo Capricorn So it's a Smith person. It's the daughter Smith. We're just gonna say that the daughter Smith. Yes, <clears throat> the famous daughter Smith. Yes. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. She's coming against Taurus Virgo Capricorn. My throat. My pen don't want to write. This is can't get right energy. There we go. I had to make another card. There we go. Put that to the side. Alright, you guys. <clears throat> Let's see if Spirit has something else. 
that they want to show us. We're going to take them off where it's. Holy Spirit, do you got any more messages? I can let this go for like 30, like 10 more minutes. Holy Spirit, you got any more messages for us? <clears throat> that we need to know? You got any more messages, Holy Spirit? I told you, I already know. <clears throat> my mouth, throat, my mouth slash throat cart just came out. And guess what? I have problems with my throat. So they're doing negative energy at work for someone to get sick. Yep. Um, something about your mail, too. That's why I like to do this off camera because this take um, <clears throat> so long to get the cards out. So they're trying to do something, they're doing negative energy to work on somebody's mouth to make them have high blood pressure. It's some news that get that's gonna come out. And people are gonna start knowing what's really going on. Somebody think you're pretty, they think you're beautiful. Doctor's office, they're gonna there's somebody that's petition a doctor's office to do something to so they can get you to touch how to react. But uh somebody see who was doing negative energy to work on your mouth to make you have high blood pressure, they see that you are wise. They see that you know how to um, combat that energy. Someone may be messing with your mail, you may get good news about something, or people are gonna start understanding why certain people are attacked the way they are and then they got to understand the soul the soul who the soul of that person is not the um i want to say straw man name but it's not that not the birth name that, that this, these people were given but to understand the soul name of the person they're gonna start doing. Somebody uh, is, they're doing something that's a, about a contractor, a contractor here. So somebody is, hold on. seen the Leviathan card come out in a while and it just came out. I tried to put these two cards back in the deck. They came back out. Liz Finlay and change and do something different. They see that you was wise to change and do something different. They seen that. Somebody tried to is this Sagittarius Sun person tried to stop the news about the Christ being here on this planet at the time. Um, for a long term. They tried to stop that. But the Christ is here. And is is the Christ as a soul is here. But people don't understand that the Christ have two different. There's two different people that are the, the, the Christ. There's a Christ consciousness. And there's two people who embody the Christ energies. Who, who is the Christ. The soul of the Christ. And what they... People don't understand. People don't understand that the Christ is two individual people, but one soul. They don't understand that. I, I think I explained it in another reading. Okay, somebody is doing a contract in the spirit to get you pregnant. They want you something about being, you being pregnant. Spirit say somebody need to uh, meditate and then you'll gain clarity. Uh, the, your enemies are Liz Finlay. Your enemies are taking a new approach. Uh, it's some kind of show that they, they're going to put on. Ruler of the land. Why did I get that one?
They be messing. They, I tell you, they stay trying to mess with somebody's bills. Somebody think that they're clever and they're messing with your water bill. Okay. Oh, so give me a clarification <coughs> of the ruler of the land. Give me a clarification. This was a show for them. Like, you know how somebody tests you and <clears throat> you don't know you're being tested. You just do what you know. <clears throat> and at the beginning, they thought you were stupid, didn't know nothing. And they kind of found out you knew a, a lot. And they didn't think they just looked at the way you. Like your status, the way you dress or whatever. And they made a conclusion based upon that. Not, 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 um analyzing the soul itself <clears throat> and now that they seem this was a show they put they put on the show this they put you on the show they did this to an empress <clears throat> oh <laughs> they see yes <clears throat> People are starting to see that the Christ is here. They're starting to see who is the soul of the Christ. They're starting to understand <clears throat> that this empress is the ruler of the land. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Clarify this contract, this Holy Spirit. Contracted somebody to do some negative energetic work. So is this a practitioner? Is this contract is this a practitioner? Is this contract a practitioner? No. Somebody is making somebody worry about um their wishes, like. Okay, somebody is making somebody, somebody is putting somebody in worry. Okay? So, what's the sign zodiac sign of the person they're trying to put in worry? And there's five of pentacles in it. Well, not, they're trying to make them feel, you know, like poverty, lack, like they don't have it all. What's the sign zodiac sign of the person that's trying to put somebody in the pot? What's the sign zodiac sign of the person that they're putting in this uh, poverty energy and this five of pentacles energy? What's the sign? They're putting a Virgo sun person in the five of pentacles energy. So if you're a Virgo sun, please watch out for that. That is not your energy. You can easily just say, Holy Spirit, Most High God, angels, however you pray, please remove this five of pentacles energy, this worry, this lack um, energy from me because it's not mine. You can return it back to center. You can transmute it. Please return it back to center and replace all that energy they sent me with love, light, and peace. Or you could say, um, I re remove all negative, all the five of pentacles energy <clears throat> and transmute it into love, light, peace, happiness for Christ consciousness for everybody or for yourself or for your family, whoever. But you can like transmute that energy however you want to do that. And because <clears throat> somebody is being contracted. There's a contractor. I don't know who this person is. There's somebody around a Virgo that is putting this person in this five of pentacles energy. And you're in this five of pentacles energy because the ex-president's wife paid someone to do this to you. They when you when they when you come you're gonna know because when you come around this person, you're gonna feel like all this anxiety, worry is because they're contracted to to do that. They have been contracted to do that. <clears throat> they come tell you things or is this somebody is this not somebody's mother? Is this is this this Virgo's mother? Is this is Virgo's mother? 
No, is this is Virgo sister? Is this is Virgo sister? Yeah, it's your sister. Somebody you call a sister or your sister. When this person come around you, they put you in this five of pentacles energy. And they've been contracted to do that. So you need to cancel all contracts and bindings, agreements, allegiances, uh, alliances, verbal, non-verbal, verbal, written, <clears throat> that doesn't align with my higher soul purpose. So you need to really get rid of those contracted energies from around you. And that's a simple prayer too. That's, that's simple too. All right. Um, they're, t they're doing a new approach here uh, with a Leviathan spirit. Uh, this is Liz. I have Liz Finlay out here doing this. See? Um, this person is definitely um, using this uh, Leviathan spirit. Somebody may have a Leviathan spirit. Okay, a Holy Spirit. Does somebody have a Leviathan spirit? Somebody uh, uh, uncle have a Leviathan spirit attached to them. <clears throat> This or Uncle have a Leviathan spirit attached. Yes. Um Okay, so Somebody's aunt have a Leviathan spirit attached to them, and this is somebody's new approach. This is could be um, the con this person that was contracted that they put a Leviathan spirit around a Leviathan spirit uh, attached to a Leviathan spirit to this person, so that this person when they come around you, that they can, you can feel worried, anxious, like lost, poverty, like like you're not deserving, like you don't you're not good enough, and that's. That's the purpose of um, that's some people do that because they can't get directly to you, so they'll use the people around you to get to you to do their bidding. 